So in a previous video, I had taken this engine down, uh, took it apart, and replaced the uh, uh, the piston rings. Put it all back together. You know, it's it's not blowing any white smoke anymore. It's not burning any oil. Um, but I noticed it was kind of running a little rough and a couple little backfires in there. And what I uh, when I look back at it, I forgot to adjust the valves after we put everything back together. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to take these and show you how to fine tune, uh, properly space off your uh, your valves here. So we're looking at the front of the engine here. On and this is a V-twin, by the way, uh, the Briggs and Stratton 25 horse uh, Intec V-twin overhead valves, and we're looking at the front of one of these. Um, you can see there's the, the oil pump and of course I'll get a little close-up here and of course the first thing you do you got to take the valve covers off so when you're taking this off be sure to um, take that hose off be careful with it don't tear it up if it's brittle or any cracks in it go ahead and replace it but, uh, this looks pretty good. So there's your valves, here's the spring side, and here's where your push rods go on this other side. That's where we'll be making the adjustments um, and checking the gap over here. Uh, but first I always take um, the spark plugs off on both sides so that there won't be any compression going on. And do this on both sides. What I also do is take this fan cover off. It's an eight millimeter. I take this off so I can, you know, rotate the uh, uh, the crankshaft with the fins. You know, once all this is uh, with no compression, it should be able to turn pretty easy. So we'll take that off. So now we can turn. You can see the the valves moving here. We can turn the crank with no resistance. And what we're trying to do, I usually get a little screwdriver. And you see it's pushing the, the screwdriver out. The piston, that is. Be careful, you know, you don't want to scratch anything up or anything. But right there, and make sure, because when you're, when you're turning it, um, you'll see the valves move. You want to make sure that your piston is is top dead center. Um, and the way you can kind of tell this, see it's at the bottom now, it's making a stroke. Now it's back up. It feels like it's at top dead center, but your valves are still moving on this side, right? So you want to make sure There, so now it's it's at the top again, and your valves aren't moving, and that's where you want it. So now you can uh, adjust your, and you see that's already pretty tight. I mean, there should be a little gap in there, so uh, let's get those adjusted. So you, what you need, this is a, uh, a TX-30 on this particular one, the star or whatever you want to call it, the Torx, and uh, and a 13 millimeter open end, and you want to find if you have a, a slim one like this one's pretty slim. Uh, it makes it a little easier to uh, to grab those. Um, and the feeler gauges here. Uh, the spec is between four and six thousandths, right? Um, and sometimes on the exhaust, I like to go on the high side at six thousandths and the intake at four. For some reason, it seems to work work for me, but uh, anywhere between four and six thousandths should do the job. So there's, we'll try six thousandths. And what you'll do is 
loosen the 13 millimeter nut here and then you can unscrew that inner so now you see there's a gap put your feeler gauge in and tighten it down until it's kind of snug you don't want it to stop You don't want it too tight. And I'm starting at the six thousandths range. And that's just about right. It's enough to hold up the feeler gauge, but it's not too tight. And let's double check it with uh, with maybe a six or well, where to go. Well, there's a four, and you can see it'll drop with a four. But as I go up, there's a five thousandths. All right, I'm getting all mixed up here. Where's my six? There it is. Six thousandths. And it's pretty snug and it's actually holding up the weight so I think that was just about right. Let's check the intake side. See that's pretty tight too. I can't even get the, the six thousandths on there so let's loosen that up a bit all right it's all tightened down now let's tighten the, the 13 millimeter nut clamp it down Yeah, that's up. Oh, there he goes. I like to jiggle them around, make sure they're they're not binding anywhere. Okay, so there you go. I can slide my six thousandths in, but it'll still hold it up. Those are just about perfect. So do that on each side, and if you had any kind of backfires or if it seems to run rough. Um, that's a main culprit there, so especially after I worked on the internal parts, if, if I do a valve job, if I you know, replace the, the rings where I'm taking off uh, the camshaft, all that good stuff, well, go back and readjust your valves. Uh, so that should do it.